Okay. Right. <laughs> Hi guys. <sighs> I was like, wait. <laughs> the problem is I move it from here to there. It just every time I change it, it jacks it up. He was all, go. Wait. <laughs> well, Eva, rotate your phone, my love. Hello, Sandra. Hello, Kimberly. Hello, Deborah. Hello, hello, hello to anybody I've missed so far. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, etc., etc. Um, I have pulled a selection of tops and bralettes for you guys today that I feel like you guys should see. I also have three new tops at the end of my rack for you guys to take a gander at as well. Um, and then we have a good show. Yeah, let's have a good show. I went to the doctor today and they pulled titties at me. Twice. Twice. They poked at me twice. It was horrifying. The first one was just a finger poke though. My iron's wonderful, by the way. That was a weird thing to find out. I naturally assumed because I was bruising and because I was so tired and just ick. Hi Sandy! I'm sorry, Eva, that I was anemic again, right? That would just be the natural assumption. Breastfeeding, having a baby, that I'd be anemic. Nope. Nope. My iron levels are 13. Which I think is like the best my iron levels have ever been. And yeah, so they ran like 10 other tubes of blood for things. So it's going to be interesting. But they poked at me. They poked at me a freaking lot, man. It was horrible. It was too much blood to give away. But yeah, so that's what I did today. What did you guys do today? My morning was fairly boring. It was a lot of sit and wait at the doctor's office. Um, that I wasn't actually prepared to do. I thought it was going to be really fast. Veronica, he is five months old. Hi, Jordan. Five months of love. Oh. Chubby bunny. Yeah. What did you guys do today? Anybody do anything fun? I know most of you guys' kids, for those of you that have kids, are still on winter break. Working. That must be kind of fun. How am I? I'm alive. Alive. I'm tired, but I'm alive. What about the rest of you? Good. I'm happy it worked out, Cody. You did laundry all day, just waiting on the show. I'm here. Tired, but I'm here. Took my son to the dentist to see the great. He did amazing, fabulous. I love when that happens, Amber. My four-year-old is so sick. Oh no, Kayla. He is Veronica. He's definitely getting big. He had an office full of nurses wooing over him today, and it was so funny. Built an igloo with my nieces and nephew. Fun. Fun. Cold, but fun. My kids were complaining about our weather today. It's too cold for Luna. She didn't want to leave the house. 
I'm taking her to New England one of these days. <laughs> February. Hi, Aunt Donna. How much are things today? Um, some are 12, so like the bralettes and the camis that I pulled for today, those are 12. Some of them are 20, and then some of them are 30. And I'll let you guys know as I go. We're currently in the hospital. My daughter's been in the hospital for over three months now. <gasps> Why, Veronica? Is everything okay? Well, obviously everything's not okay, but is everything okay? Yeah, Luna thought it was cold. She didn't want to leave the house. And then they were really upset because, like, they didn't have, like, full-on jackets. We just tossed hoodies at them this morning, and that wasn't enough. They wanted, like, their poofy jackets. And I was like, well, you take your jackets off to get in the car seats. And they didn't want to do that either. And I was just like, I'll turn the heaters on. Just get in the car. I got my leggings I want, and I love them. You're so welcome, Brandy. How warm is it out there? I don't know, like 60-something? Did you just look at your wrist that doesn't have a watch. watch? I got my watch at home. You could tell he's so used to having his watch. He just looked out at his arm that doesn't have a watch on it. 54. It's 54 degrees. It's not that cold. It's not. Okay. I left my house today at 10 a at 9.30 a.m. without a jacket on, and it was fine. It was 33 degrees this morning when the dogs got me up. Which is like 5. 6.30, 7 o'clock. 6.30, 7 o'clock. It was 30-something. Still on the back Very nice, Amanda. I like it. Her heart stops. <gasps> Whoa. We're in Tulare, California, so we're between Fresno and Bakersfield. Right, Donna? I'm with you, but your goddaughter felt otherwise. She felt like she was freezing to death. Hello, Alexis, on Cody's account. Did you catch the rest of that? I did. Okay. That's crazy. I just couldn't, I couldn't imagine. Do, do they know why her heart stopped, if you don't mind me asking? But yeah, Luna thought it was freezing today. Hi, Miss Sherry. Hello, Miss Christy. Okay, guys, so I have some things to run by you. Or I have a question to run by you. Because a lot of you guys are, you know, you guys have medical issues or you guys know people with medical issues. So, here's the thing. So, I'm not iron deficient, which is what I thought I was, right? So did Mandy, if she's still in here. Okay, we thought I was iron deficient. That's what we had decided. I am bruising. Like, I look like somebody has taken a cane to my legs. And I haven't done anything. Well, so, listen. Right? My husband should stop beating me. Just kidding. That's kind of what the doctor referred to, though. Um, hi, Amanda. She told us if she lived, she would be a vegetable, but she's coming along great. Good, Veronica. That makes me well, so happy. Great. Man. Thanks. Got you, got you. How old is she, Veronica? Um, yay, I'm not so pale today, huh? Weren't you on Zofran? Yeah, but I didn't take it for like a long-term thing. Mine was a short-term, small dose. If she was on a high dose for a long-term, that's when it starts to... Affect your heart? Affect your heart. Wow. But I wasn't taking it... You know, like really, really long term. I just figured you use new foundation. No, I'm dying. Not yet. But yay, I'm not so pale today because I have no makeup on whatsoever except for a little bit of eyeliner. She's just short on blood. Just short on blood, it seems. But either way, so that's what I was saying. So either way, I'm not iron deficient. My iron levels are 13.6, which is the best I think I've ever heard my iron levels. So yay about that. But now I'm like, well, why the hell am I bruising up like a bad apple? Okay. Because I literally look like somebody has beat my legs. She's 19, but her mentality is not anymore. Which would make sense because of the... Okay, so that makes sense. I just wasn't sure if she was like a younger kid or if she... Well, I mean, she's your baby nonetheless. But I didn't know if she was like a baby baby or older. Yeah, but I don't have a nerve in you. Anyway, so yeah, I'm trying to figure out why it could be possibly bruising, and I didn't want to Dr. Google, because when you Dr. Google, it's going to tell you you have cancer and you're dying, so I'm not Dr. Googling, but I will ask you guys.
No scares. And I know you guys hate, I, I get it. I know that you guys hate Zofran, but I have to take Zofran. Well, Donna, they ran blood work. They ran, yeah, I'm not Googling nothing. Um, I had to have Zofran to stay alive. That's just the way life works. But um, yeah, Donna, they ran 10 different tubes of blood today, which felt kind of crazy because she was like, all right, and started counting them down. So she was like 10, then nine, hold on, eight, and then seven. And then she was like, open your hand, close your hand, seven, open your hand, close your hand, six. I was like, you're stealing all my blood. And for real though, that's a lot. Like 10 tubes was too many. It was too many. So yeah, well, Nadia, without it, I would have died. Yeah, it should, Donna. If she doesn't get it, the answer with 10 vials, I'm dying. I'm just going to take it. That, that's the answer. Agreed, Veronica. Definitely agreed. But yeah, so um, took a tons of tons of blood. So there's that. And then uh, three to five business days is when they should have my results back. So I'm curious. I'm curious if I'm deficient in something because I feel like I have to be deficient. I mean, in something because why else would I be bruising like a bad piece of fruit? And I'm not doing anything that would like cause the amount of bruising that I'm having. You wouldn't have died. You just would have been admitted. Erica, because it can cause heart problems, especially if you have pre-existing conditions. That makes a difference. And are we calling you Eric or Erica? Because you changed your Facebook name again. I only do 16 tubes every six months. This is for my MS. Ah! I couldn't handle 10, okay? She was doing it and she was counting down for me so that I would know when she was, like, done. And I was, like, all looking off, like, <laughs> please stop. And she kind of laughed when I climbed into her chair because I did my little kid, like, chair swivel thing where I scoot myself back because my legs are too short to touch the floor. So I, I climb up and then I... And then um, I, I put my arm out and then I turned myself. And I let her do her thing. Yeah, but yeah, that's the difference too. It's going to be the dosage. Well, you need to make up your minds. That doesn't work. I don't find it fascinating. It makes me really, really nauseous. I'm the person that can't give blood because I will throw up on the poor, poor ladies. We just, we just let Shuck Daddy do it all for us. He goes and gives things. He, he goes to the vampires. <laughs> cause yeah, I ain't vampiring. Huh? Yeah, that works. Yeah, cause I can't. Um, and still bruise 13 tubes. I don't have low iron though. I was a 13.6. So that's what I thought originally was it would be an iron thing because with all the babies, it wouldn't be a shocking thing, but it was an iron. So I, uh, gave them all the blood they wanted. Okay, well, you you let me know when you know so that I don't call you by the wrong name. But we're going to go by Erica for now because that's your Facebook name and it'll make it less confusing. But when you're ready to switch back to Eric, let me know. Yeah, I'm not a blood person. Five babies in, still not a blood person. It's just the way it works. Yeah, that does make a difference. <laughs> the tattoo thing does only that makes a difference. But yeah, so either way, I gave enough blood today to not ever want to give blood again. Um, and I'm really hoping she got enough and figures out what the hell's going on so that we can get it fixed. Cause I, I look like somebody's been beating me. You're welcome. I just, I don't want to call you by the name that you don't want to be called by because that's rude. Thrombocytopenia. That is crazy. Phyllis, I don't know what she ran. She ran 
nine different panels and it took ten vials of blood. So I don't know, homie. I don't know. It was a long list. I was watching her fill out the lab sheet and she was like, check, 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 check. And I was like, oh my gosh. No, I haven't been having cramps. Should I be having cramps? No, I haven't been having any cramps at all. No muscle cramps, no nothing. But that would make the potassium thing make sense, huh? But no, I haven't been having any cramps. Hi, Michelle! We're Dr. Googling without the Dr. Google. That makes sense. Yeah, but I, I still want to make sure that, like, I'm still using everybody's right pronouns. I'm trying, okay? Occasionally, I get a little lost. Renauds, primarily secondary Renauds, with a possible link to scleroderma. Yeah, those are both things that um, my biological father has. Yeah, Nadia, I don't know. We'll have the results in three to five business days, is what the cute little lab lady told me. And my doctor's office said, we'll call you with the results. Yeah, so I actually asked about Renan's while I was at the doctor's today, but because I was seeing an OBGYN to get my crazy meds fixed. Um, <laughs> Daddy's laughing. Just saying. Um, so either way, I went to get my crazy meds fixed, and uh, I asked about the Renan's, and she was like, well, you'd have to go see a PCP, and then they would have to refer you out to a rheumatologist. And I was like, I try, Erica, I try. I do get really confused though with the they them thing. That's the one pronoun thing that I struggle with. I can call anybody he, her, but when we get to the they them, I get a little puzzled. That's when I try to use names. Even if it sounds strange. What are today's prices? So, camis and tanks are gonna be $12 free shipping. Um, some of the tops are going to be $20 and some of the tops are going to be $30. It's going to vary. I will let you know as I'm going through which is going to be which. Hello, Miss Ariel. But yeah, no, the they, them thing is the only thing that I get confused with. And then I still try to stick to it. Like if you tell me that that's the pronouns that you're using, I try. Or I just totally revert to using your name in every sentence that I reference you in. So then it gets really awkward. But then I don't miss up your pronoun. Bye, Nadia! Yeah, Sherry, let me know. Because I am going to have to do a whole runaround to get to go see a rheumatologist. So, my answers will be long, 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 way, ways, it seems. I thought it was going to be easy and she could just do it. But... Found out I had lead in five factor. I was getting blood clots. You could be missing a factor. Huh. Interesting. I'm assuming that's something you'd see a rheumatologist for too. So I should probably get on this whole PCP thing and then I have to find one of those. Hi, Terry. Does that tell you how often I go to the doctor? I don't really go to baby doctors. And then you don't see a PCP while you're pregnant. So there's like... No, it's not, Donna. They're really giving me the runaround. Like, I have to find a PCP, and I was like, well, that's great. I had no intention of having to find another doctor. But, um, I am now. I'm with you, Ariel. Is she sleeping in a regular bed now? Oliver climbed out of his crib for the first time last night, and we don't even know how he did it. But he was so angry that his cup was empty that he climbed out and brought his cup to us. Yes, make sure that you guys are sharing the video. If you guys do not see, um, my llamas in the box. I know there's llamas all sorts of weird things. And my son put drawings in my boxes. There's like random pieces of paper. There's stuff all over my office right now. Um, but either way, so if you don't see live up at the top of the screen, we are no longer live. And don't get angry at me if I don't respond to you. You can shop the replay. Always, always, always. You can um, 
you can always shop through replay. All you have to do is send us a screenshot of the item you want along with the size and your email and possibly the color because I think these three things are called the same thing, but they're different colors. And then, um, of course, always send your email when you purchase. <laughs> right? Yeah. I, Sherry, I just don't go to the doctor at all. So I can't be a walking weirdo because I don't go. I'm a secret walking weirdo. But yeah, I've avoided the doctor. It's a half size crib. Gotcha. I like it. You were just using his crib as storage. That's what we do with Will's crib because he doesn't sleep in it either. It's a storage area for blankets. <laughs> we're cool like that. He's like knocked out right now. Snoring. All right, guys, are you ready to get started? Oh, Michelle, I hate when dogs try to sew popcorn. My dog slept inside last night because it was so cold. And she did not want to live. She did not want to leave this morning to go outside to go potty. We were like, girl, you gotta go. The sun's out. <laughs> go bask in the sunshine. Hi, Mia. Yes, he is getting big. He was, he was the talk of the OBGYN's office today because they, um, as always, wanted me to pee in a cup because that's what happens when you go to an OBGYN's office. And so I go in to go pee in a cup and I start to pick him up to take him in with me. And the nurse is like, it's fine, just leave him here. I'll watch him while you go to the bathroom. And I was like, okay. And then I came back out from the bathroom and around the corner and there was like, six, Betty, are you okay? Right? Yeah. What's up? Hold on, guys. Hey guys, we're going to shut down for a minute. We'll be back um, in a few minutes. <laughs> 